Andre Ward. The man has always come up big on the big stage. He was supposed to fight Carl Frotch, and that was supposed to be the fight that was the most telling fight of any fight in his boxing career. And Andre Ward handled it with ease. He showed him who was the boss, proved he was the best fighter in the Super Six, and showed the world and put everybody on notice that Andre Ward is for real. Now, we've all seen the ring IQ, but people always question. Andre Ward got nobody to challenge him. Andre Ward ain't fought nobody. Andre Ward, he needs a challenge. He needs to go up and wait. All this talk about what Ward needs to be doing. He did it. But do they talk about this for Gennady Golovkin? Nope. It's all about let him fight the welterweights. Bernard Hopkins was a middleweight. They grilled him for staying at middleweight and keeping the title as long as he did, wanting to break Marvin Hagler's record. Why don't Bernard move up? They ridiculed him his entire career. But not Gennady Golovkin. They ridiculed Andre Ward, whose career has been riddled by injury after injury after injury. That they were kind of hoping he limped into this fight with the injury that he got from training camp. Coming into this fight. Well, from what I've been told, Ward is 100%. Training camp has been amazing, and he's ready for this. Ward has always showed up on the big stage. And performed well. Chad Dawson destroyed him. He's always stepped up to the challenge. And the thing about Andre Ward is he's a he's a fighter that's like Floyd Mayweather, where they they go off the feel of the fighter, not just the film. That's why Floyd don't like to watch film. On the person he's fighting against. You know he might have seen them fight before. But he don't want to sit around and study film. Because if the fighter does something entirely different. Than what he did on the film. Now you got to try to adjust to it. You don't want to mentally set yourself to something that may never be. Because then you could screw yourself up. And we've seen that happen to fighters. When they've been training or studying a fighter to fight a certain way and that fighter switch it up on him it makes it a very difficult night now Andre Ward is going to try to outthink Sergey Kovalev and now we're going to see if all that ring IQ is still there and it's enough to bring the victory